settings is where we can set our conduit and conductor preferences. All of these settings default to NEC code. If you have specific preferences, you're welcome to change them. For the most part though, this does not need to be actively set. Once our site has been completed, we can move on to creating equipment specific layouts. The first thing we're going to do is select a manufacturer and model for our mounting system. We have a number of racking partners that we've worked with to build out specific layouts for that racking manufacturer. If you select one of them, you'll see that a lot of the inputs are grayed out and preset for you. If you don't see your racking manufacturer, you can simply choose user defined and define for yourself what your column, row spacing, and racking tilt are. We can also select a specific module. Every single manufacturer should be listed here from our cloud-based database, and if not, we can add it for you easily by sending us an email. I'm also going to define if I want my layout to be in portrait or landscape. Once everything has been set, I can select Make Layout, and my PVCAD gives me two options, Fill or Click and Drag. In this first instance, we'll select Fill. It's going to again ask me to set my azimuth. I can either type in my roof's azimuth or again set it with two selected points. You'll notice a module attached to the cursor, and I'm going to place this module somewhere in my roof. It's then going to radiate out and fill my entire roof with that selected module. Once we get to this point, there's a few things we can do to change the layout. We can select modules and we can delete them. We can also add modules back in. In PVCAD, we recommend you do not copy and paste modules. Modules are unique, countable objects, and when they are copied and pasted, it can lead to issues later on in your file. Instead, we have this Add Panels button. Click the button and then select any module in your layout. Click and drag out from that module. You'll notice it latched onto my existing array spacing. It did not overlay modules on top of each other, and it allows you to override things like obstructions, shadows, or setbacks. Another way we can create a layout is with click and drag. In this instance, I selected Make Layout, and I'm going to select Click and Drag. It's going to ask me again to define my azimuth. In this instance, the module is attached to my cursor, and I'm simply going to click and drag across my array. This will only place modules where you clicked and dragged. It is still going to respect your obstructions and setbacks, and you can still use the function add panels. The nice thing about click and drag is that you can create multiple arrays in the same space, you can define different azimuths, and you can offset modules from one another. This is ideal for spaces that maybe have complex obstructions and you'd like to not have a single grid system across your roof. Mm -hmm.